In a lottery game, a player picks five numbers from zero to nine without repetition. How many different choices does the player have if order matters and if order does not matter? Remember, for a permutation, we have no repetition in order matters, and for a combination, we have no repetition in order does not matter. So if order matters, we use a permutation to determine the number of choices, and if order does not matter, we use a combination to determine the number of choices. Each number is selected from zero to nine, which means there are 10 digits to select from. And because a player picks five numbers from these 10 digits, if order matters, the number of choices is 10 permute five. And if order does not matter, the number of choices is 10 choose five. Let's evaluate these first by hand, and then we'll check them on the calculator. n permute r is equal to n factorial divided by the quantity n minus r factorial, which in our case, n is 10 and r is five, which gives us 10 factorial divided by the quantity 10 minus five factorial, which is equal to 10 factorial divided by five factorial. And now let's expand 10 factorial until we get to five factorial. So 10 factorial is equal to 10 times nine times eight times seven times six. The remaining factors are five factorial. And this is divided by five factorial, which is why we stopped at five factorial here. Five factorial divided by itself simplifies to one, leaving us with 10 times nine times eight times seven times six. Let's find this product on the calculator. We have 30,240. Let's verify this is also 10 permute five. We enter 10, math, right arrow to probability, permutation is option two, and then we enter r which is five, enter, and we get the same value. If order matters, there are 30,240 choices. And now let's determine how many choices if order does not matter which is 10 choose five, n choose r is equal to n factorial divided by the product of n minus r factorial and r factorial, which gives us 10 factorial divided by the product of 10 minus five factorial times five factorial. So again, let's go ahead and expand 10 factorial until we get to five factorial. So we have 10 times nine times eight times seven times six times five factorial. 10 minus five is five, giving us five factorial. And now let's expand this five factorial, which is equal to five times four times three times two times one. Notice we have five factorial divided by itself, which simplifies to one. And now let's continue simplifying. Notice 10 and five share a common factor of five. There's one five and five and two fives and 10. Notice four times two is eight and we have an eight in the numerator. So we can simplify the four times two out in the denominator with the eight in the numerator. And then three and nine share a common factor of three. There's one three and three and three threes and nine. Notice now the denominator is one and therefore we're left with two times three times seven times six. And now let's find the product. Notice the product is 252, which should also be the same as 10 choose five. Let's check that as well. We enter 10, math, right arrow to probability, and notice combination is option three now. So we press three, and then we enter R, which is five, and enter. And of course we get the same result. There are 252 choices if order does not matter. I hope you found this helpful.